I'm going to start the recording. So hello, everyone. I'm Laura Carlson with Colette and excited to share with you this trip that Bur Burlington Trailways is doing to the South Pacific Wonders. So this is taking in New Zealand and Australia. So definitely a bucket list trip for, for people and a fascinating destination. So this trip is going to be 15 days and traveling in November of 2022. And I do want to mention that Australia and New Zealand both have been closed to travel because of the pandemic, but it is expected to open later this year. And so it will be real important to make your reservation because there's going to be kind of a rush of people that haven't been able to travel there had it on their bucket list, wanted to go. And once it opens up again, it's going to be uh, a busy season of travel. So let me show you where we're gonna take you on this tour and uh, just all the delights that you'll get to experience. So you'll see the islands of New Zealand on the right-hand side, and that's where we're gonna start the tour. And New Zealand is made up of two islands, the North Island and the South Island. We're going to be visiting the South Island. The South Island is the most scenic and beautiful. You've got the mountains and fjords and just gorgeous rural landscape. And so you're going to get to delight in the uh, wonderful things uh, of the country in the South Island. So we have two nights in Christchurch. And then we go for a four night stay in Queenstown. From there, we're gonna fly to Cairns, Australia. And that's how they pronounce it, Cairns, and have a three night stay there. And then a flight to Sydney for a three night stay as well. So you'll notice that each location that we're in, we're, we're there for a good amount of time so that you'll really get to experience each area and each city on tour. So this is Christchurch, New Zealand, and it is the largest city in the South Island of New Zealand. It's said to be a very English looking city. And so uh, you'll get to experience that. You see the tram here right in the center of town. There's also lots of rose gardens and parks uh, in Christchurch, as well as museums, since it is kind of a, a hub of the South Island. There's a lot of different cultural and artistic things that are based there. So we're gonna begin with a welcome dinner for you. and You'll get to meet everyone that you're traveling with. And then the next morning, we'll take you out for a city tour of Christchurch. So the building you see here in the background is the cathedral. And if you remember back in 2011, there was an earthquake that struck very close to Christchurch. And it really destroyed the cathedral and some of the buildings downtown. So you'll learn how the city has rebuilt itself what changes they made to their, their buildings and uh, get to still see the beauty of the city. It does have a nickname of the Garden City because they have so many beautiful gardens that are here. Now we're going to go to the Willow Bank Wildlife Reserve, and this is your chance to get to see a kiwi. So that's what this bird is. It's called a kiwi. And uh, we know kiwi as the fruit, but in Australia or in New Zealand, they also call themselves kiwis. So if you are a New Zealander, you are a kiwi. And so you'll hear that referenced as well. So the kiwi bird, you won't see it pretty much in nature. It is endangered and it is nocturnal. So that makes it very hard to spot in nature. But by going to this preserve, we're going to uh, be able to show you some of these uh, beautiful animals that they have in uh, New Zealand to be able to uh, get, a, get a look at all of them. There's 95 different species that are found at the, the reserve. Then we go and make our way to Christchurch, or from Christchurch rather, to Queenstown. And the picture here is of Queenstown. So you can see it's just in this beautiful setting with the lake. Uh, the lake is called Wakatipu, and then the city that kind of winds right around the coastline of the lake. Uh, you've got snow-capped mountains and glaciers that are surrounding you. And so it uh, truly is a, a beautiful city and we're going to have a four night stay here. 
while we're here, we're going to take a day to go to the Milford Sound. And this is in the very south of the new, uh, the South Island of New Zealand. And we're gonna go through a beautiful valley, which is what you're seeing here with rugged mountains and small little towns. We'll be going through a, a tunnel and then we get to the sound. And this is what you see. It is spectacular. These fjords rival any of the beauty that you've seen before in Alaska or Norway. It is just, just spectacular. Uh, so you have water that's cascading down the sides of the mountains like this. And we're going to take you out on a boat ride like you see the boat that's there. You might get to see some birds, uh, some seals that would be in the water and just really have a, a gorgeous day taking in the scenery here. It kind of reminds you of something like from Avatar, uh, the movie, if you remember that, just how beautiful the scenery is, how lush it is. It's uh, just, just breathtaking. Now we do offer you an option here that if you would like to travel back to Queenstown on a flight, you can add that instead of driving back. And the flight is a scenic flight because the scenery you see is like in this picture. You're gonna be seeing these uh, mountains and snow covered tops. And it's just a beautiful place to take a flight seeing tour. So if you'd like to do that, that is available to do to go back to Queenstown. Then we give you a free day in Queenstown because there's many different things that you can do here. Um, you'll want to maybe take a little time to explore the town and see some of the shops that are there, enjoy the, the, the scenery looking out over the lake. And then we offer a few options as well. And one of the options is to do the shot over jet boat ride. And this is the Shotover Canyon. So that's why it has the name Shotover, that canyon is named that. And uh, these very skilled drivers take you on a jet boat through the canyon, which is very exhilarating and uh, beautiful as well. So that is a very fun activity to add to your trip if you'd like to do that. We have another option called Gold Seeker Metal and Movie Discovery. And this is going to take you to the Remarkable Mountains. That's the name of the mountains here in the countryside outside of Queenstown. And uh, we'll show you many of the spots where the Lord of the Rings movies were filmed. So many movies have been filmed in this area because it is really so beautiful and uh, unique scenery. Then we have a special treat for you. We're going to take you uh, to a family for a home hosted dinner. And so what you do is you, you break up into smaller groups. So there might be six or eight of you that will go to each family's home. And uh, they welcome you into the home. They're eager to hear about where you're from and what your life is like. And you get to ask them any questions you'd like as well and have a wonderful dinner with them. Uh, I'll mention in the picture here that this dessert is called a pavlova, and uh, it is the national dessert of New Zealand. So you'll uh, hopefully you'll like that and you'll see that at some different places and, and maybe even at the home hosted meal that you'll have. So here we are still in Queenstown looking at this beautiful, uh, beautiful scenery that you have. We're going to take you to a family farm and you'll get to learn about the, the sheep because uh, the South Island has, um, I think it's like 4 million sheep. Uh, it, it, they, they produce really well there. And so you'll have been seeing the sheep farms as we drive around. So this is a chance for you to get up close with the sheep and get to have a demonstration of the sheep dogs. The sheep dogs are amazing how they can follow follow the commands of the master to make the sheep turn right or left or turn around in 
and just take care of them. Uh, you'll learn about the beautiful merino wool that's made from the uh, from the from the sheep, and maybe even get to see a sheep shearing demonstration. Sometimes they do that for you as well, because with that many sheep, you uh, you can bet that it's uh, definitely a a skill and something that has to be done very quickly to be able to shear all of the sheep. We're going to have a farmer's lunch. And then we're going to be heading back to Queenstown. And I didn't mention, but the sheep farm, we're going to take a boat to get there. So we take a boat across the water and then come back on the boat again uh, to Queenstown. So we have a choice activity for you here. And a choice is included. It's not extra. You just get to pick which of these two activities you would find most enjoyable. And you can choose that. So one is to go to the Kiwi Bird Life Park. The other is to take a gondola ride to the top of Bob's Peak. And when you've seen the pictures like the one here that is up high looking over the lake, that's a picture from Bob's Peak. So it is fun to go up to the top to get these beautiful uh, views that you have. So if you go to the Kiwi Bird Life Park, this is a sanctuary uh, for reptiles and birds. So again, you might have a chance to see the kiwi and uh, they have around 20 species that are native to New Zealand. And uh, you'll enjoy that if you, if you enjoy birding and watching them. Otherwise, you'll go up to Bob's Peak on a gondola like this, have great views uh, of over the lake and over the city. And then we're going to have a farewell to New Zealand dinner because the next day we're gonna to head to Australia. And we're going to fly into Cairns. Now Cairns is a tropical area. So you're going to have the warmest weather here in Cairns. And think about uh, tropical plants, tropical birds that you'll have here. So it is a, a very uh, beautiful area and quite different from what you've experienced in New Zealand. Now, while you're here, we're going to learn about the Aboriginal cultures of Australia, and we're going to go to uh, a reforestation nature park, and we're going to have an Indigenous guide who's going to show us through the park and show us some of the traditions, uh, the dances, the didgeridoo instrument that they play on, and uh, get to learn about uh, that part of the history of the uh, Indigenous peoples. Then we're going to visit the Hartley's Crocodile Adventure. And so we're going to get to see crocodiles on a nature cruise. So we'll also get a chance to walk uh, after the cruise on some of the boardwalks where we can take in seeing some other birds and reptiles and wallabies that are there. And we'll also get to see uh, these very cute koalas. The koalas spend a lot of their time sleeping and they just hang on and sleep and look so peaceful and uh, just, just gorgeous. So you'll get to see them up here as well. Now this part of Australia in Cairns is known for the Great Barrier Reef. And so we're going to take you out on a high speed catamaran for a day enjoying the reef. And so what we do is we take you out to uh, Green Island and you'll get to spend the day on Green Island exploring. You can snorkel and the snorkeling equipment is provided to you. You can snorkel right from shore. You can walk around the island. Uh, you can relax. Uh, so it's just really a lovely day that you can experience while you're here. And then we also include a glass bottom boat ride. So you'll be able to go out into a little deeper waters and look down, even if you haven't been snorkeling, you'll get to see some of the beautiful fish and coral that are making their home here on the reef. Now we offer an option here, and this is for someone if you want to have a, a, a more in-depth experience of the reef and you want to go out into deeper water, this extension will take you out to this platform boat and you'll spend the day on the platform boat. So from this boat, you can uh, snorkel, you can swim, you can even scuba dive if you're certified in scuba diving. And so by getting out into deeper water, you're going to be able to see bigger fish 
and uh, perhaps more uh, that you'll get to experience. So whichever one you choose, you're gonna have a great experience seeing the Great Barrier Reef. So we're gonna give you some free time in Cairns in the morning, and then in the afternoon, we're gonna fly to Sydney. So here is the beautiful city of Sydney. You see the Harbor Bridge there in the background. And uh, it has different neighborhoods like a lot of big cities do. And we're gonna take you around to see some of the distinctions from neighborhood to neighborhood. And we'll also get to see the beautiful opera house here. So uh, this is a very unique building in the architecture, in the perfection of the acoustics that are in uh, the, the design as well. It's uh, made up of several different theaters that are inside the building. So this neighborhood is called King's Cross and uh, you can see the Harbor Bridge again in the distance. Some of the other neighborhoods are Chinatown. They have a huge China, Chinatown. They have a neighborhood called the Rocks, the Circular Key and the Botanical Garden area. Now back to the Opera House, we are gonna take you on a guided tour inside and outside the Opera House. So you're gonna to get to learn about the building and the architecture, what makes it so special and uh, get to see the, the beautiful inside of uh, the, the Opera House as well. Did you know that opals, the majority of opals in the world come from Australia? It's a really high number. I think it's like 85% or something uh, come from Australia. So we're gonna take you to uh, 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 like a visitor center that they have to learn about opals, uh, how, what they look like when they are mined out of the rock, um, how they are polished and, and changed into the beautiful jewelry that we love. So it is the national gemstone of Australia. And uh, there's different kinds of opals. There's you know the white opal, there's even black opals and all kinds of colors in between. So this is bringing us to our final evening. And uh, we have, uh, oh, I'm sorry, you have two more evenings. This is the second to the last evening. And on the second to the last evening, you have an option to go to a performance in the opera house and to go to dinner. So the dinner would be a three course dinner at a waterfront restaurant with views of the harbor. And then the performance, we won't know until closer to departure, but it would include a performance at the Opera House. So that may be on your bucket list to take in. So uh, if you don't do that, there's free time that you could explore. Uh, the tour manager will always have ideas of what you might want to do during some of your free time. Uh, this picture is showing an observation tower that they have, which is somewhere you might wanna go up uh, during the day and, uh, or even the evening and uh, get views of the city. And then we have our final night on tour. And on this final night, we're gonna take you for a beautiful evening cruise on the Sydney Harbor. So we go out in a gorgeous boat like this where there's decks that are open air as well as inside uh, areas. And you'll get to see everything along the coast here. And then what I love is by the time you come back, the sun is setting and then the lights are on. So you're gonna to get to see the Opera House lit up at night, the Harbor Bridge lit up at night. And it just really makes for a magical final evening in Sydney. So I hope that you'll join Burlington Trailways on the South Pacific Wonders Tour. Uh, again, it's just one of these magical places that uh, I hope you'll go to and uh, again, sign up as soon as you can for this one because it's going to be very much in demand. Now, if there's anything you'd like to add to your tour, that's possible. Uh, one thing might be to look at upgrading your airfare to business class. Uh, we can help you with that as well as some of the optional excursions that I mentioned. Now also very important for travel is travel insurance. And I wanna let you know what Colette has always offered. This is not new. This is how we've done business for 
um, many, many, many years. So our insurance gives you the ability to cancel your tour. No questions, no reason, no paperwork. You just would call and tell Burlington Trailways, I can't go. Um, and you can do that up to the day before departure and get a full cash refund. And you'd get everything back except the cost of the insurance. So you just can't beat that. If you just feel uncomfortable traveling, or if you do have some really valid reason that you can't travel, it doesn't matter. You can just get your money back in full if you want to cancel. And then on tour, the same insurance is covering you if you have to go to the doctor or the hospital, or if you have to leave the tour and go home early, it's going to cover you returning home. So all of those kinds of expenses are reimbursable for you. And we have a loyalty program. Our loyalty program is called the Passport Club, and you will be uh, enrolled in that automatically when you take your first trip with us. And if you travel again within two years, we have a nice discount for you. And it's our way of saying thank you, that we appreciate you traveling with us and uh, have that loyalty credit added to your final payment. Now you can go online and get more information and I'm gonna give you the website here in a little bit, but I wanna summarize the trip for you. So South Pacific Wonders is traveling November 9th through the 23rd of next year. And you can go as a single, double, triple, uh, the rates are per person. And this includes the airfare from the Quad Cities. There's also the interflights, those are all included, taxes are included. And the price that you see there also includes a $500 early booking savings. So uh, that you'll receive by, by again, making your booking uh, early. Not included is the insurance, which is $449. So again, that is what's gonna protect you and be the only thing that you wouldn't get back if you had to cancel. So for more information, you'll contact Burlington Trailways and uh, you can also go onto their website to be able to see the full itinerary and to sign up for the tour. So I appreciate you listening and hope that you will, uh, will travel again with Burlington Trailways and Colette. Thank you. <music>